Floyd Shivambu, the public organizer for the MK Party, spoke at a festival dinner last night about EFF founder Julius Malima. Shivambu pursued Malima without mentioning his name, criticizing his penchant for using harsh language to label different trailblazers before requesting that the same individuals collaborate. Shivambu said how Malima often disparages other trailblazers in her discussions. Before we continue, please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, so as to get all our updates. In any event, he said that despite the assaults, Malima eventually connects with like-minded people, enabling them to band together and support the nation. Trailblazers should not discard people without first approaching their associations. Shivambu implied Malima's driving style without mentioning him by saying, it is basic to continuously perceive everyone. Shivambu went on to discuss the MK party's possible advantages, claiming that they were contingent on the principle of respect for all individuals. He emphasized that it is essential to treat everyone with pride, regardless of any differences that may exist. Our party believes in the strength of fortitude and respect. Attacking someone and expecting they to subsequently clasp hands with you is not acceptable. Respect should always start things off, Shivamba said. A handful of MK Party partners attended the event, which took place at a festival supper. This is another political advancement that aims to provide an alternative approach to operating organizations in South Africa. In response to Shivambo's remarks, the group praised him for his authority and respect circumstances. It will be interesting to see how these affirmations will affect the relationship between Shivambu and Malama, who were formerly close allies in the EFF, as the MK Party develops. In another major political event, Gugum Chali and Kambilani Lenga, two prominent members of the EFF's KwaZulu Natal provincial leadership, have defected to the growing Yumkanto We Sizwi MK Party. Following their departure, questions have been raised about the EFF's allegiance, strategy, and future in KwaZulu Natal, which has rocked the province's political scene. Highly regarded EFF members Nshali and Linga played a crucial role in the party's attempts to increase its sway throughout the province. Their decision to switch allegiance to the MK party is a major blow for the EFF, which has been battling with internal issues and defections in recent months. Both were considered vital to the EFF's grassroots mobilization operations and had been actively involved in provincial campaigns. According to those knowledgeable with the matter, their growing discontent with the party's course under Julius Malima's leadership played a role in their decision to leave the EFF. Nshali and Lenga are reportedly drawn to the MK party's goal of resurrecting South Africa's political landscape's revolutionary ethos, with a stronger focus on addressing corruption and socioeconomic problems. Their move reflects the MK party's plan to position itself as a respectable substitute for those who have lost faith in the EFF and other well-known political parties. The defectors have been welcomed by the MK Party, which has been gaining support since its founding. The leaders of the party have hailed Nshali and Lenga's move as evidence of growing momentum and support for their political ideology. The leadership of the party said they are certain that the two's backgrounds and connections would strengthen their position, especially in KwaZulu Natal, where there is fierce political rivalry. The EFF has yet to formally disclose the defection of the two members of the provincial leadership. Nonetheless, the defeat is anticipated to prompt introspection as the party grapples with its evolving position in South African politics. High-profile defections provide the MK party a chance to further establish itself as a powerful force.